This is the blue. I put a new motor in it. Um, I put the motor from the red one in it. No, I still have the red, but the old red one that had the red light up eyes. Because the red one now is on a blue one. So it has a blue command instead of red. And I put a new motor in here, and now it really works. And I just noticed that I might keep the shell off. Because when you have it off, I just found this out that it flips back up by itself when it tips over. It tries to anyway. See, it's not slow anymore. <laughs> it goes straight to. This is the side that I fixed. The motor's still lower than this side. But it definitely works. This one, this one I should have unique, and I should leave this one on so that when it tips over it can get up. And for the clear one, uh, I don't know if it's going to last any longer, but I put two batteries in it. So there's two batteries in there instead of one. So yeah, just a second, I got to close it up more. Like, here's the two I'm using for parts. Like, this one, the motor is stuck. I mean, the wires are stuck in, in the switch, so I can't get the motor out. And this is a good motor, but this motor is bad. And this is the bad motor on the green one. This is the red, and this is the green. But here's the blue one that has the red shell on it with only four legs that's why it, if you make it go forward it won't go straight so it, it'll go like this so it has to go backwards and it goes straight but it gets stuck and really can't get itself one sec hmm but i think hmm i might be thinking about something here okay just a second well, I had the idea, I switched around, but now the lights are on the back. See, now it goes straight when I push backwards, because this is backwards, but that is the problem. Just a second. Okay, let's put it on the floor and test it. Okay, see? Put it back the regular way. Um, so I'll show you what it's like when it's forward. That's what it's like when it's forward. Here's backwards. goes just regular backwards see it's on the blue remote because that was a blue skitter bot my very first one which is now a, I put the red shell on it or else if it, you know if it was the red bottom it would have red eyes instead of green or it would have or some of the blue ones have blue eyes too but look at it when it's backwards goes perfect. It doesn't look so red in the camcorder. I mean, sometimes it looks like the Emberlin green one to me in the camcorder. Not for real. I can see that it's red. For real. 
It's not too red like that Trek bot <laughs> that's coming. So yeah, um, and four legs. The reason is there's something broken in, right in there. The gear that goes there uh, can't like that. Those gears like that. Once you take them off, they don't go back on. So don't take them off. <laughs> Or else you're gonna get that problem. So bye. Well, we're waiting for two balloons to charge. To charge. <laughs> I hope this one lasts longer than both of these now. Because it has two batteries instead of one. So it started at the same time, so when it's dead, it charges two. So it's probably gonna take an hour and a half to charge it when it's dead. But the light on the remote will let me know. Huh, we'll see. Might be the motor though. Just like the blue, but this one wasn't as bad. <laughs> At all. There's red. It's going to be crawling backwards, remember? Trek bots. My red one might be here tomorrow. Might. This is the second blue one. That's gonna be a part because when it flips over, it'll get up. This might last a lot, long time now. See, the lights are on. They're not char charged yet because they'll turn off when they're charged. See, here's the red lights. That means it's the original red ones. The track bot that I use for parts, the one that broke, the switch. Yeah, Robo Pet. <laughs> I have him sitting there. <laughs> he likes watching action. <laughs> this is the shell for that one. Hey. Remember that one goes on the blue remote too, so I have to take it to a different room like over there and start it up or else the all the blue ones go backwards and you know, it just doesn't work that way. Guess what? The dog, Hemsky, that we're babysitting, I think he ate my brown gravity hexbug nano. It's gone, people. You ain't gonna see it again at this house. Not in a long time. Unless I lost it, but I'm not sure. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna find one on the internet that soon. So you're not gonna be seeing the brown Hexbook Nano anymore, people. I think he ate it. The rarest one. It's not in North Dakota. It's not even in stores in Hong Kong either anymore. It's sad. The best one got eaten by that big dog. <sighs> Ashley was supposed to be watching him and babysitting him. She was the babysitter. She's doing a terrible job. So don't don't plan on seeing it again in years until I find one again to order. It's just how it's gonna be. I never mentioned this, but the other battery, where you at? Where did I get the other battery from? You ask. Well, the truck bot that had the broken switch, I used it from that because that one had a pretty long battery life, though. So it should last. The longest of all since it has two batteries. You can see they're, they're stacked. 
there probably is a motor burnt out though. Um, burning out. It's not as slow as that one was though. Oh, this one's charged, but not that one. I think that one was completely dead. And if it didn't have any space to charge it, that's why. Getting ready. One left. Toy for. Well, the truck bots weren't charged yet, but they have juice in them left, but not a lot. Now I'm going to be right here. I'm going to start the clears first this time. Because normally I start them last, but now I want to start them first this time. I want to change it a little. Probably both of the motors are burning out because it's it's going straight and at first it was just going in circles when I found it again. Because one side was slow, I think both sides were slow, that's why it sounded like it was always dead. And if the motor is just a little burnt out, it causes it to run dead in six minutes. That's why they've been doing that the whole time. The whole time this one and that one had burnt out motors and the green. Oh, that balloon is still charging. That's my, oh, third one. There's RoboPet watching the action. Oh, yeah. like a bunny. See, he looks like a bunny. <laughs> it's almost charged. Uh, how much longer? <laughs> Still not charged yet. See, not charged. How longer? I hope this wheel keeps working because you just won't be happy if, it, if it's broken. <laughs> but Lucas never really plays with these, so what would it matter if it broke? I mean, he never really plays with them because they don't have a lot of battery life, but... Yeah, and it's still not charged. Not charged yet. Still not. But, yeah. I've... He's... He said he's played with them once, pretty much. He's... He doesn't really use his battery toys because he doesn't really get a lot of batteries to make them keep going like I do. And so, I mean, he never really can play with his battery stuff. But the good thing about these is they're chargeable, but he still really doesn't use them. I really don't know why, but... I don't think it would matter. <laughs> Still not charged yet. <laughs> Those are the two that got fixed. Well, maybe the clear, but for sure the blue did. I wonder if it's going to last longer than the third now. Hmm. Curious the weight, but that blue one up there that's charging is holding up the weight here. Ugh. It was pretty much charged. It was flashing. So, let's get him started. The reason I have why I have to wait for the charge is to see which one lasts the longest now since I fixed two? Well, not really fixed one. I just added an extra battery in it. But that might help. That's why I have to wait for it to charge. It's a test. So, yeah. Because I really wouldn't be doing them anymore tonight, but I really want to test them. I'm not waiting till morning. Still not charged yet. Yeah.